welcome to another blog tech tips and of course guys today i have a tutorial for you guys and i'll be looking at how to fix the issue where the wi-fi icon is missing on the taskbar now of course what i mean by the taskbar is this area down here and of course it's not happening to this laptop right now but i recently fixed an issue like this with for a friend so i'll just run you through the steps i always use to fix that problem now what do i mean by the wi-fi um, icon is this icon right here and of course the Wi-Fi icon indicates that you actually have the wireless on your laptop turned on and of course if I were to actually click on um, this it will open up and show all of the available Wi-Fi networks so if I actually give this a little time you'll notice it shows uh, my current Wi-Fi network the name and so on and as I'm connected I could also disconnect now guys, if the icon is missing and you're not seeing your um, Wi-Fi icon, especially if you check um, in the hidden area down here. So if I were to click on this area here, you'll notice there, if you're not seeing your Wi-Fi icon or this icon right here, simply follow this tutorial. Now one of the main reasons why your Wi-Fi icon might be missing guys is that for some reason Windows Explorer is um, acting up and of course your device needs to refresh windows explorer so what i want to do is go ahead depending on if you're on windows 10 windows 8 or windows 7 doesn't matter as long as one of those new operating systems simply click on start and once you're on start guys just simply go down here and click on the power option right here and just go ahead and restart of course guys if you were to shut down completely and start up once again that would even be better so let's go ahead and restart the computer and once you do that it will of course um, refresh things and of course the Wi-Fi icon should come back in the simplest of cases another quick way to do this without restarting if you can't be bothered is to actually go into task manager once you're in task manager let's go ahead and allow it to load and here you go you'll see it in this mode if you're on Windows 10 that's kind of a minimized mode just go ahead and click on more details down here and once you click on more details it will open up and what you're going to search for you can just simply hit w and of course you'll be taken to the bottom of the list and you're going to look for windows explorer and there you go you'll notice windows explorer right here what you can do is highlight windows explorer and you can actually restart and by restarting what you're doing is actually refreshing windows explorer and of course if the icon is missing it will actually reappear and of course that's the first step now the second step guys that you can um, employ is and this one is the one that tend to work for me in most cases which is the second option i'm going to show you now what you want to do is just look at your laptop model for example here i have the acer and you see it here on the laptop or on the back it says uh, acer aspire and you can find the acer up there of course it says here Acer Aspire 5 and this version is the A515 and of course 5137 V1 but of course the drivers are the same among series so let's look for the A515 series drivers and of course I've already um, searched for this and of course just give me a second here guys if I were to show you this page right here you'll notice this is my laptop right here and of course this will be the drivers for it and I'm on the Acer website right here so if I scroll down, in the case, I'm going to hit on drivers. And of course, notice I have SATA audio, Bluetooth. The main one you're looking for is the Wi-Fi or wireless drivers. And you want to go down. And here we have two of them. And what you want to do is to download both of these. So you just go ahead and download this one, this one, install both, and then restart your computer. And of course, once you do that, you'll notice that the Wi-Fi symbol should come back. Now, of course, guys, in most cases, after trying either the reboot and, of course, the reinstall of the drivers, that usually fixes in 90% of the cases. Just in case it did not work for you guys, what you want to do next is the third option, which is sometimes your laptop has what we call a Wi-Fi key. And, of course, it's usually a small toggle or switch. You want to look along the edges here or along the side. And, of course, there will be something that's marked with a wireless symbol. And simply if you turn it on and off the Wi-Fi will appear and disappear so just look around your laptop along the edges if you see such a toggle or switch to turn off Wi-Fi on and off in other cases it could be a button like this one here 
showing with a symbol F3 right here. And of course, by pressing the F3 button, it will not do nothing or it won't do anything at all. So what you need to do is hold down um, function key, which is Fn. And while you're holding down function key, simply tap on the F3 key. In my case, it might be a different key for you. And of course, by doing that, what it does, guys, is that it toggles the Wi-Fi on and off. So sometimes the Wi-Fi is off. So if it's not a button, it's going to be a function key as seen here. And of course, the F3 key. And that's the um, third option, guys. And of course, another option could be that the icon itself is there, but it's hidden. So guys, if the Wi-Fi icon is missing, all you got to do is go through the steps. And what you're going to actually do here, guys, to find the um, hidden icon is to go into settings. And of course, you're going to look for the system tray settings or the um, icon area down here, the settings. And of course, once you go in there, you're going to tell it to stop hiding. You're going to tell it to stop hiding the Wi-Fi icon. And of course, it should reappear. All right, so once you do that, guys, what should happen is that everything should reappear. But of course, I'm sure you won't re reach the fourth step as the first or the second step should work for you guys. So that was how to return the Wi-Fi icon in cases where the icon itself is missing. It could also work in other cases as well, such as you're seeing, um, you're not detecting any Wi-Fi networks, although there are some available or they are shown, especially for the second step, it should work in any of those cases to return functionality to the Wi-Fi um, option. All right, guys, so that's Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips running through some cool tips that you can use on um, your laptop to actually return the functionality. All right, guys, Ricardo, just with some other tips. Saying bye until next time. Bye.